my great leaders of this uh, day with the beautiful uh, dress, handsome boys and beautiful girls and uh, respected uh, parents and my dear esteemed uh, colleagues and most dearest children, student of this and ambassador of this institution. Those who are sitting almost uh, two hours. So I don't want to uh, extend or expand anything because already nothing is left out for me. Everything is told in different versions. And uh, because in question papers also you can see level one, level two, level three. Easy questions, medium questions and tough questions. All the three speakers has given you three levels of speeches. So nothing is left for me. I have to just sweep out the rest of the things. It's okay, fine. Uh, at the outset, I would like to congratulate all the office bearers and the leaders of this institution to take forward all the academic activities, co-curricular activities and extracurricular activities of 2024-25 in a great level and the great excellence. So my congratulations to all the office bearers with colorful, beautiful, and also dressed very well. Dear students, we know that once you elected members, maybe a legislative assembly or a member of parliament, they think that once they are elected, they are blessed, they want to enjoy their leadership. No. Actually, leaders are born or made and elected to serve the community. But this reverse process is happening in our society. All the elected members or the leaders say that they want to enjoy because they are elected. Please note the Christ King elected members. You are not elected here to enjoy your leadership. You are here to serve this entire crowd. This is the first message. Mahatma Gandhi ji says, your tomorrow will be decided today. What you would like to become tomorrow will be decided today. That's what the meaning of his saying. If you want to become a great leader, if you want to become a good leader, if you want to become a successful leader, or if you want to become a good human being, that starts today only, not tomorrow. Our future, all the elderly people who sit here, their career started long back. Dear students, you want to occupy a big role in your future, you should start from today only. I'll ask you a question. Who is the favorite teachers or a leader? I don't want to ask teacher, then it will go to a different extent. Who is your best leader? Tell me. Yes, there are so many leaders. Huh? No leaders for you? Who is your leader? You have to follow someone, no? Who is the best leader you find? Yeah. Huh? Parents. Yeah. Very good. Then? Huh? Very good. That's what I am expecting. Who is the best leader in this world? Everybody, all of you. I am the best leader. You are the best leader. For you, not for others. First you have to lead yourself. Then you can try to lead others. If you are not a self-good leader, you cannot lead others. That's what Mother, say, Mother Teresa says. Where is the best creation of energy? The God's energy, where it will witness the sun, S-U-N, the best creation of energy, the best energy source in this nature 
his son, S-U-N. The best beautiful creation of God. She says, you see the moon, very beautiful, we enjoy moon. The best energy source, sun, the beautiful creation, that is moon. The great creation of God, nature, such a beautiful environment. Everything is available for us freely. You need not pay nothing for oxygen. Water we pay because of our own problem. Otherwise everything is free. This is the best, great creation of God. Where is the best creation of God? If you want to see the best creation of God, stand before the mirror, you will find the best creation of God to you. Understood? Who is the best creation? Where is the best creation of God? All of you. If you want to make it best creation, it is not possible simple way. The speakers already given you the hints, the choice and chance, opportunities. The Ratan Tata says, everyone will have opportunities. The school will provide everything for all, similar way, same way. But the difference in within yourself, opportunities are same for all. Same question paper, same teacher, same textbook, same teacher will evaluate, but marks are different. What is the source of difference? Individual student. You ask your mother, how many ingredients available in the kitchen? Can you mention few? Yes, in the kitchen, ingredients. Why it is more from the boys' side? Uh, doesn't mean uh, girl, only boys should go to the kitchen or girls should go to every... Nowadays, uh, it is dual role is required to everyone. Yes, you see, the number of ingredients available in the kitchen, hardly maximum usage of ingredients are six to eight. I think teachers will agree. Right? Correct? Very few ingredients regularly use. What? Okay, okay. But your mother will prepare different delicious foods with the similar or the same ingredients available. Every day, see changes. The quality, taste of food. It is not the number of ingredients required to prepare a food. The required ingredients are necessary to prepare a food. Why I quote this, dear students? The institution will provide you many things. That is enough or those are enough to bring you to a next level. How did you use this or how do you use these available resources are very important. It is not the ingredients make the food delicious or the utensils used to prepare the food is made all these things. It is the cook who prepares the food makes the difference. Then, Nimma Bhavishyavanna Nive Rupisikola Bik. Then, who is the cook in this institution? Every individual student. If you are the best cook, you will prepare the delicious food. What do you mean? You prepare your future in a right direction. We wanted to make this institution not a study center. Our all slogan is always say, learning for life. This institution should be a learning center, not a studying center. 
study we prepare you for the examination you study for the purpose but learning is a continuous process why because learning never stops the reason is life never stop teaching life never stop teaching because i too must learn to live i may stop studying for my examination but i never stop or one shouldn't stop his learning to live or lead his life the responsibilities and the authority authority and responsibility should go together only authority doesn't work that what is happening in our political leaders nowadays they want the authority responsibility means we have we are born to do something we are assigned to do something that you have to do all my leaders with beautiful dress remember you have some responsibility meantime you have given some authority so utilize this authority to make your responsibility don't think that only this group or this crowd will lead this institution you are also required that's what i say every student is a leader every individual is a leader every teacher is a leader in the class you are leader for self your father is a leader at your home or your mother is a leader everywhere you can find a leader that means leadership quality is required for every individual whether you are elected as a office bearer or you may not elect as a office bearer but you should act like a leader how one can lead the leadership quality my dear students you have to acknowledge the three yes the self confidence self reliance self discipline very very important and 3d 3d movies no i am not talking about 3d movies i am talking about 3d's devotion dedication and determination if you have three yes in your life if you have 3d in your life i can assure you that you will be a great leader to lead your life you don't try to lead the society not required if every one of you lead your life seriously and sincerely our country will flourish but most of the people are dependent on leader that is the issue of any society don't depend on anyone you lead your life by taking this some of you may have my dear student you may have some confidence level sometimes you may not have it she is very brilliant she came from rich family her father is or his father is a officer my father is a ordinary man don't do all these things this is never be true you study the history ambedkar's father mahatma gandhi's father or any neighbor leaders or your own mother and father look at your grandfather they are not big so your background is not important nowadays your weight your height your color of your skin your father's background or mother's background is not important what you do today will decide your tomorrow the color of the cat is not important my dear students it may be a black cat white cat or any color color of the cat is not important but how the cat catch the rat is very very important so dear students take this gray the entire day is a great day for you make yourself some changes success is not a big deal you ask your parents or your teachers or any elderly people success is not we are not done many or any any successful people they are not done great things or big things big changes a small small changes will make great things 
So make some changes. If you spent one hour time for your studies, you study two hours. If you study two hours, make it three, that's all. Just one incremental hour required to make a difference in your life. And some of you, especially the primary and eighth and ninth standard students, you feel that I am not going to face any board examination or any final destination. When I reach 10th standard, I start working from June 1st itself. That is the thought of many students. Even some parents also. Now he is 5th standard, we can take him to a city center or a, a forum mall. Or we will take for a, a festival for nothing. If it is required, it is fine. If not, they carry because he is yellow health. Primary Tondrele and board exam in Lakar Kondo, Adne Yusaraje. Primary education. As a teacher, I say that it is an attitude. My dear students, the learning is an attitude. You start from 10th standard. You have to work now itself. That's what I say studying or learning is an attitude. Don't keep it for 10th standard. Some says, when I go to 2nd PUC, because that is a turning point, I study, I start studying there. No, not, nowhere turning point. These are all junk things. I say, 10th standard is not the turning point. PU is not the turning point. Every day is our turning point. 5th standard also your turning point. 7th also turning point. Turning point is everywhere. Don't keep your studies or your change of studies in the 10th standard or 12th standard. If you start working here every day, like a 10th standard, 12th standard or any professional studies, spend more time on studies, be habitual in your studies, the same habit will continue in the coming days and that will make you more comfortable when you reach 10th standard and 12th standard. The failure starts here. We ignore our primary education, 8th and 9th standard education. We keep everything when we reach 10th standard. Then in the 10th standard, you cannot make any big change all of a sudden because you are all habits, hobbies, your learning methods, everything vanished already. You cannot set it back. Reset is very difficult. Dear students, when you are in the 5th standard, 6th or 7th, start studying. Make some changes in your... A small, small changes will definitely lead to a big change. And this day should be the beginning of this small change for all of you. Take this message. Understand yourself. That's what self-reliance. You must rely on yourself, your confidence. If I am confident to do, I will do it. If I lose my confidence, no. Before I play a game, if I shut down my racket, I cannot win. So that's why be confident, prepare for it, start good things, good habits in the initial stage when you are in the primary. And this good habits and hobbies certainly lead to a great day. I wish all my handsome boys and beautiful girls lead this academic year 2024-25 in a distinct way. It should not be a copy of previous year. The previous year we have done like this, like this. This year also we will do the same. Means what? Where is the growth? There is no growth. It is just a Xerox copy or a copy of the previous year. There is no growth. Growth is always to the upward. If it is a constant, there is no growth. You know the normal curves, when you study mathematics, you will understand. So always the, our today and tomorrow and day after, you should recognize some difference within yourself. That is the growth definition. So I request all the office bearers, instill few qualities, bring some new programs along with the previous year's activities made some change and every year your followers or the community or your parents should recognize some changes happened this year in this. So I congratulate all the office bearers and students and also the teachers who prepared all these uh, young minds.
for the next generation or the next day. Thank you very much.